What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail with the cool outline effect that you see in a lot of people's thumbnails. The first thing I'm going to do is find the bit that I want to use, select your shot, hold shift and press H and that's just going to hold the clip to create this still image and then I'm just going to trim the beginning and end so we're just left with this still image. And now the next thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this. And on the top shot, what I'm going to do is add a mask. So go to effects, masks, draw mask. I'm just going to add that on. And all I'm going to do is draw around this person right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just start clicking on the points. If you click and hold, then you can actually smooth it out a little bit. And also if you forget to click and hold to smooth it out, what you can do is go back to any point, hold command and just click and hold on the points to smooth them out. So to create like a curve and you can go back and do this on any point, which is pretty cool. Okay, so once you finish your mask, what you want to do is copy and paste this shot. And then on the middle shot, what you want to do is turn up the feather a little bit and go to color correction and just boost the exposure right up like that and then go back to your shot and fall off we're just gonna tweak that so it looks so it's more of a solid line put the whites up as well and that's going to give you like the solid outline effect so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So you can also feather out the inside of the outline by just clicking on your top shot and tweaking the feather that way. Okay, and now for the black outline, what we're going to do is go to generators and go to solids and you just want to pick the custom generator, bring that down and bring that underneath both of these just above the bottom one you want to click one of your top two copy the effects so command C and then just paste the effects onto your generator right there and now on this one what we're going to do is make the feather a little bit bigger go to your color correction and put this one all the way down and the whites all the way up and this one all the way up and that way you're going to get like a solid outline effect so that looks pretty cool let's make it a bit smaller just like that and that's it that's the outline done so now what I'm going to do is just chop off these bottom bits down here and I'm going to select these three clips here and turn it into a compound clip so now what we can do is you can make the scale of this a bit bigger. If you want to make something stand out, then you can make that bigger and just move it, which is pretty cool. Now for the color effect on the background, what you want to do is go to generators again, search gradient, and we're just going to drag this in between the person and the bottom shot. I'm going to go up here to blend mode and change it to add and then go to the generator settings I'm just going to move these and then you can just change the colors to whatever you want and then chop these end bits off so for the text layer what you want to do is go up here to your generators and titles tab go to titles and I'm just going to do basic title and put that over my video if you go up here, change the title, I'm just going to call it Thumbnail Tutorial. I'm going to move that over here. So the font I always use for my thumbnails is called Surfing Capital and you can get it at thefont.com. And I'm just going to go down to Outline and put a black outline around this. Change the width a little bit. And then what you can also do is you can actually change the color correction on titles. So if you press command six, then you can 
change the exposure on that to make it pop a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you get the really cool outline effect. And uh, add in a bit of text to make some really cool thumbnails. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.